Hey, hi BB Pro, Johnny O'Jackson here at Destination. It's time for legs today. I got my knee sleeves on, styling, you know what I'm saying? Um, always use protective gear. Got my belt, of course. Anyway, today is gonna be leg day. So I'm gonna show you guys what I recommend for you if you come into the gym and need to do legs and a complete leg workout. I'm gonna show you the exercises that I think you should do and never leave out. So standing leg curls first. I'm gonna do three sets, 15 reps. The norm is starting with leg extensions, but my hamstrings are the weakest of my legs, so I wanna start with hamstrings to activate them first, so whenever I'm doing anything else, I'm getting more blood than usual indirectly sent into my hamstrings to help that size out that I need to even out my hamstrings with my quads, okay? I'm gonna start with standing. Lying is the norm also when you start with uh, hamstrings. But we're not going to do the norm today. I'm going to do what I like to do and how I like to warm up. I'll get me a board or something like this and get outside of the machine. So then I feel a little bit more free. Lock myself in and uh, make sure you isolate in quads while you're doing this exercise. That's really important. If you don't and you're here, then you start catching some momentum, you know, and not really putting all the pressure you need to put on there, you know, to break the muscle down so it grows bigger and stronger. You know, this is a little bit different. It's got a little slant to it, you know, so you don't run into it when you're trying to perform the exercise. But a lot of them don't have that slant. A lot of them just straight platform. So once you get in fully, you always almost hit the bottom of your foot and kind of mess up your rep. So having this plywood elevates you a little bit. So then you don't have to worry about whether the platform has a little decline so you don't hit it. You have to worry about it because you're elevated up high enough. The next exercise I'm rolling into is the squat. Squats is four legs, of course, but it's a full body workout actually once you get under make sure everything's tight abs tight core tight everything tight it turns into a full body workout i always say if it's the off season i know i'm going to put on mass on leg day because of squat you know and how it's a full body workout and how it will put body mass on you overall and then when i'm dieting i always say squat on leg day i'm going to burn more calories than I've burned probably the two or three days I've done before I've done legs because how much you have to exert and the exertion comes from actually free squatting. You know, I don't get away from back squatting or free squatting um, because I know overall my body's gonna benefit from it. Think about it. You know, I'm not competing. So at this point in my life and my career, it's all about staying in shape, looking good, and staying functional. We're all gonna get old, but I wanna make sure I stay functional. And this is one of the things, free squatting is gonna help you stay functional because just think getting in and out of your car or in and out of your truck, you know, sitting down to dinner, getting up, sitting down to lunch, getting up, is all squatting, you know? So this is gonna help you as you get older to maintain that strength and the muscles you need to be able to activate to do that in a smooth way as you get older. Think about it. Gotta put some pressure on. God, I love this shit. After squats, I recommend leg press, knees, hips, everything is all warmed up. So it's a good chance to go from squats over to leg press and continue to hit all the muscle bellies and doing leg press. After, after doing 
with squats. Especially for my one heavy and to move over to here. That's when you know you're breaking it down. And when it recovers, it has no choice to recover bigger and stronger. Stay on it. Gym etiquette, always put your damn weight to it. After leg press, I love coming over to hack squat. Kind of focus a little bit more on my outer sweep, on my quads. Since I've done, you know, it's something for hamstrings, I really got them activated before I did everything else. I want to concentrate a little bit more on quads now. And uh, like I said, hit the hack spot. Oh. So, my finish shoot today, leg extensions. What I said in the beginning, normally I start out with, I'm going to end with. Totally isolate the quads here at the end, get a good pump, and get my ass out of here. See you at the gym.